this video we'll look at three ways of organizing HR services and HR catalog items in ServiceNow HRSD. So the, there are three ways that are uh, a little bit confusing because they can often be confused with each other of organizing services and uh, catalog items for HRSD. The first one is HRSD topic categories and topic details. This has to do with the COE data model. The second one is the employee center taxonomy topics. This is what requesters see on the employee center. And then the third one is service catalog categories. And this was used in prior versions of HRSD, but currently if you're using employee center, uh, service catalog categories don't really matter too much anymore. So let's take a look at the first one, HRSD topic categories and topic details. Let's start on the documentation page. So as I mentioned, this has to do with the center of excellence data model, that the, there are various centers of excellence extended from the case table. There are, there are case, the specific yeah, centers of excellence extended from the case table. And this is just a way of organizing services into those centers of excellence. So this is a great diagram here. At the top, you have the center of excellence. So in this example, it's payroll. And then a center of excellence can have many topic categories. And one of those can be payroll administration. And then the category can have many topic details, which uh, in this case is direct deposit. And then you'll have an HR service that's associated with the topic detail which is associated with the category, which is associated with the center of excellence. So that is structurally how it works. Let's take a look in the back end to see how this looks in the platform UI. So if we go to an HR service, let's take a look at the retirement plan inquiry. We can see that it is associated with the topic detail and then a topic category and a COE as well. And these fill in uh, afterwards. So if we're actually, if we're creating a new one, uh, ma sort of manually through this UI and we go topic detail, we pick our topic detail, say beneficiaries, and then our topic category and our center of excellence um, fill in automatically. The categories and the details can be managed in these modules. So there's a module for topic categories. And this shows the category along with the COE that it belongs to. And I think I'm in the default list view. Yeah, I am. And this shows the, the COE uh, that it belongs to. And then we have the topic details. And this is one step up in the hierarchy where we have the topic detail and then the category that it's associated with. So these are really are only destined for the, uh, for the fulfiller. The requester never sees anything with these uh, topic categories and topic details. And specifically, if we're creating a new case as a fulfiller, let's pick on Able Tutor. He gets a lot of cases. Uh, and I need to select the HR service, the dropdown here has the categories as well as all the services uh, under that category. So it's just sort of a way of organizing them. Um, in my opinion, it's not super useful because if I'm a fulfiller and I'm creating a, a, an HR case here, I'm probably just gonna pick the COE or I'm just gonna type in my service directly password reset, say, and then my COE fills in. So I don't, organizing it under the, with the um, categories is not super useful, though I, I suppose it is somewhat useful because if there are multiple services with similar names and you're doing a search, you can kind of see what they belong to by looking at their category. Okay, so that is HRSD topic categories and topic details. The next uh, organizational structure we'll look at is the employee center taxonomy topics. So this has to do with the front end with the employee center and the different menu items that we see in employee center. So in HR, out of the box, we have pay and time, benefits, career development, etc. 
And then another level down, we have compensation, health and wellness, uh, et cetera. And so these topics are organized, are also organized in a hierarchical fashion, but it is only topics. Uh, there are no topic categories uh, and topic details. This one is just topics. And so what we're seeing here, although some of them have similar names, have nothing to do with what we see in here, or specifically, or specifically, if we go to yeah, topic categories, have nothing to do with this. Even though there is a topic category called benefits, and there is a, a um, taxonomy topic called benefits, those two are independent and have nothing to do with each other. So these are in the back end. We can organize this with if we search for taxonomy. We can see the topics, which gives us the hierarchical or the list of all of the topics. I find it more intuitive to go this way and go to your whatever uh, taxonomy is being used by your um, by your uh, employee center. And then I usually just drill down from there. So child topics, we can see HR and IT. There's also risk and compliance. That's not showing up here because there are no items under there right now that are active. Uh, so I got to drill down to HR and I drill down to pay and time. And then this is where I can put either content items or I can drill it even further down to more child topics. And I have other videos that explain how to add content uh, items under each of these uh, categories or topics, I should say. <laughs> Keep my vocabulary straight. So that is employee centered taxonomy topics, which again, uh, can have similar names or the same names as top, as HRSD, topic categories and topic details, but uh, technically have nothing to do with each other. There's no technical link between those two. And last but not least, uh, well, yes, last and least actually, is the service catalog categories. So these are from the service portal. And if you're familiar with ITSM, they are much used in that uh, application and that product. Uh, but in HRSD, in the current version, um, since Employee Center, it's not really used anymore. So let's see, where can we see this? If we go to a record, uh, actually, let, let's do this inside of HRSD. So there is Manage HR Catalog, Manage HR Catalog. And there we can see the different catalog categories that are in the human resources catalog. So we have visas, talent management, payroll, et cetera. Um, that's the place you would see it. But again, you might think that, uh, hey, if I, put it under, uh, if I put it under benefits here, well, then it's gonna show up here under benefits, uh, but that is not the case. Much like uh, number one and number two, uh, service catalog categories have nothing to do with employee-centered taxonomy topics, have technically nothing to do with each other. Logically, they might be the same, uh, but technically there's no link between those two. So the HR catalog categories can be managed just like uh, regular service catalog categories. And I think, i be testing my knowledge here to try and find that. Uh, here we go, maintain categories. And that's going to be those that are in the human resources catalog. We're going to manage those here. But again, these are really not used anymore. If you're using Employee Center, uh, there's nowhere where the, the fulfiller uh, nor the requester sees these categories anymore. So that is a brief overview of three ways of categorizing HR services and, um, well, not exactly HR services, but uh, actually catalog items, uh, with the exception of number one, does do HR services. Uh, so three ways of classifying things, let's say, in ServiceNow HRSD.